They've got kids sitting in the aisles. There's a photo today on the Maricopa Traffic Grants page of kids sitting in the aisles of one of our buses. Now everyone here knows that the one thing I do is I defend MUSD to the, but tonight I'm here because I'm a little angry. I know Mr. Laguna and his staff are working diligently right now trying to kind of get, make sure that we have um, you know, reasonable amount of kids on the bus and that uh, they are not overcrowded. We don't have kids sitting in the aisles. That's not something we, we want to have happening, obviously. It, is, it was 109 degrees today at 4 p.m. when he was trying, when he, he would have been walking home from school. Um, if I did that to my dog, somebody would probably be reporting me for cruelty to animals. Uh, we went back and looked at that. Uh, there was a reason why we made that decision. Uh, technically, it is outside of the walk zone, but we felt maybe that wasn't communicated as clearly as it needed to be, and so what we're going to go ahead and do is reinstate that for this year, uh, and then hopefully if we decide to, to eliminate those routes in subsequent years, we're certainly going to get better communication out earlier in the year so that we don't have any concerns uh, voiced right at the beginning of the year. I have called down to transportation twice. I called Friday, waited a day, called again on Tuesday, and still have not heard from whoever the director is. Our employees need to be uh, you know, responding correctly and politely to, to requests. And again, uh, even though it can be frustrating sometimes to have to be dealing with issues, uh, it is our expectation that all our employees are responding uh, politely, timely to our, our stakeholders.